So what you're actually seeing before this catches on fire, and those wires are at 10,000 volts, so I shouldn't really touch them. All right. Um, is electrons moving? That's all electricity is. Electricity is electrons moving, usually in a wire, right? But in this case, you've got electrons moving up one wire, across a little gap of air, and down the other wire. You've heard of ACDC, and that was another choice for music today, by the way. All right? Uh, DC is direct current. And basically, that means the electricity moves one direction. AC is alternating current. And that means electricity goes this way, then it goes this way, then it goes this way, then it goes this way. And US system is set at what's called 60 hertz, or that means 60 times per second. The electricity goes back and forth. It turns out that this transformer doubles that frequency. So that little spark going back and forth is actually going that way, that way, that way, that way, that way, 120 times in one second. Your eyes can't discern motion that fast. And that's why it just looks like a constant piece of plasma, constant piece of flame. The fluorescent lights are also at 120 hertz. You don't see them flicker because your eye can't dissociate or can't parse the signal that quickly. If I had some fancy electronic photodiode, those things would be flickering. Like this would be flickering on and off, on and off, on and off, 120 times a second. And as I demonstrated on the first day, and also just because I like to light things on fire, right? Um, I uh, can illustrate that that really is a series of lightning bolts. I'll pass that around. I assume that there's holes in it. Okay. All right. If you hold this up, all right? Yes, there they are. You can see holes in it. To put electrons going back and forth on a wire doesn't take very much voltage. To make electricity going back and forth across the air, just like if you shuffle your feet up and, and make a, a shock, a spark, right? It takes a lot more voltage. That's why this transformer takes our volts, which is sort of a measure of the power of the electricity, from 110 volts, which is our standard, and turns it into this transformer, 10,000 volts. Since that's very dangerous, I'm going to disconnect it.